graphing reciprocal trig functions. Before we dive into reciprocal trig, trig functions, we want to make sure we understand the primary trigonometric functions. The primary trigonometric functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. Remember SOHCAHTOA? That's these. The cosecant function is the reciprocal of the sine function, defined as cosecant of x equals 1 over sine x. Its graph has vertical asymptotes where the sine function crosses the x-axis, so where sine of x is equal to 0, which is at multiples of pi. The graph oscillates between positive and negative infinity as it approaches these asymptotes. The amplitude is always 1, and it extends in infinitely in both directions. The secant function is the reciprocal of the cosine function, defined as secant of x is equal to 1 over cosine of x. Its graph has vertical asymptotes where the cosine function crosses the x-axis, so where cosine of x is equal to 0, which is at the odd multiples of pi over 2. For example, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, etc. Similar to the cosecant function, the secant function oscillates between positive and negative infinity as it approaches these asymptotes. The amplitude of the secant function is always 1, and it extends infinitely in both directions. The cotangent function is the reciprocal of the tangent function, defined as cotangent of x is equal to 1 over tan of x. Its graph has vertical asymptotes where the tangent function crosses the x-axis, so where tangent of x is equal to 0. That means it's at multiples of pi, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, etc. Unlike the cosecant and secant functions, the cotangent amplitude, the cotangent function does not have a fixed amplitude. The cotangent function is periodic with the period of pi, meaning it repeats every pi units. So now that we know all of that information, we can learn how to actually graph these functions. First, identify the asymptotes based on the reciprocal of the corresponding primary trigonometric function. Determine the amplitude and period of the function. For cotangent, note that the amplitude is not fixed. Plot the key points on one period of the function, including the intercepts with the x-axis and significant points like peaks and troughs. Sketch the curve by connecting these points smoothly, keeping in mind the behavior near asymptotes. The key point in this lesson is to memorize the reciprocal trig functions. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, and cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. Thank you.